guys, welcome back. Today I'm here with a video and we are going to be doing the 20 questions tag so that you guys can get to know a little bit more about me and like know who you're watching and my background and stuff like that. So I've got all the questions written up on my phone here. We're just going to read them off here. Um, and then obviously like I'll type the questions in the down box so that if you want to do this tag as well, you can just copy the questions and make your own video. Alright, so let's get started. Number one, how old are you? I am 21 years old. I was born in 1994. What is your middle name? My middle name is Paige. Um, do you have any pets? I have two dogs at the house I'm living in, like with my partner, because they're his dogs. But at mum and dad's, like when I lived there, we had one dog and two cats. Do you have any siblings? I have one brother and one sister, and they are both younger than me. So we're, we're all exactly two years and two months apart. So my sister's 19 and my brother is 17. Uh, what was your first car? My first car was a 2006 black Suzuki Swift. And oh man, I loved that car. And then I sold it to my sister. So she's, she's still got the car. It's really cool. Um, what do you do for work? So I like to keep myself really busy. I am a freelance makeup artist. I work as a pharmacy assistant. And I am also starting my own online like homewares type business. So like prints and things around the house and whatever else, but that's still in development stage. So that's what I'll be doing coming up, I guess. <laughs> um, were you born in the same place that you live? No, I wasn't. I was born in Hobart, Tasmania, and now I live in Mackay, Queensland. So both in Australia, but um, we moved up here when I was seven or eight years old. Um, for my dad's work. Um, sweet or savoury? Definitely sweet. I have the biggest sweet tooth. Oh my god. Like, yeah, I like savoury stuff, but seriously, if you put a bowl of lollies in front of me, he's gonna be gone. Uh, have you been overseas? No, but my mum and I are going to China in May. So we're organizing that trip and we're going over there, which will be really good. Uh, number 10, do you get mad easily? I don't think I really get mad easily. I just get really fired up. So if I like, if something happens, I just feel like I have to defend myself or another person and I just get really fired up. And I, I don't really get mad I just like get snappy kind of thing, if that makes sense. Um, number 11, do you want to get married later in life? Um, I'd like to, probably still a few years away, but I, th I think it's in the cards. <laughs> uh, do you bite your nails? Guilty. Yes, I bite my nails. Um, that's why I always try and keep my nails painted. They're a bit chipped and yucky at the moment, but I always try and keep something on my nails, even if it's just like that stop and grow stuff that tastes horrible just so that I don't bite my nails because it's horrible. Like there's so much yucky, gungy stuff living under your nails and you're putting that in your mouth and ugh. I wish I could stop myself, but let's be real. Um, what scares you? Needles hands down needles like that is the only thing that I am absolutely petrified about like if I know that I have to go get a needle or a blood test or something I will literally be having panic attacks for like a week before it just ugh, it scares me so much it's not so much the pain it's just the fact that it's going into my body can't do it um what is your favorite perfume my favorite perfume would have to be I've got two um, Victor and Rolf Bonbon. It's like, it looks like a little bow tie in a pink bottle. And, um, I think it's Neroli, I don't know how you say it, by Tom Ford. 
and both of them are so different. Like Victor and Rolf is really sweet and it's got like floral undertones and Neroli's like really like a really bold fragrance. It's it smells different on everyone, but it's amazing. Um, what is your favorite flower? My favorite flower is lilies. Lilies uh, remind me of Christmas time at my nanny's house down in Tavi. So every time I like see lilies or smell them or get them, it just automatically makes me think of my nanny. Um, what is your favorite soft drink? I don't really drink soft drink or soda or anything like that. I don't really like the bubbles, like it really upsets my stomach. Uh, so if I'm going to drink a flavored drink, it'll probably be like an iced tea or something. But yeah, I, I don't really like soft drink. Um, number 17, have you studied anything? Yes, I finished... I finished my cert for in beauty therapy in 2014, so that was like an 18 month course and I did yeah, everything to do with beauty therapy. Um, if you could move anywhere, where would you go? My partner and I, we'd love to move over to the States, but we also really want to move to Sydney, so we're tossing up whether to go to Sydney or move overseas and we're going to go and choose but we're, we're both thinking Sydney like there's heaps more opportunities in Sydney other than yeah like Mackay really doesn't have anything to offer <laughs> sorry Mackay uh, what is your favorite makeup brand my favorite brand would probably have to be Mac I don't really have a lot of their products but I'm slowly starting to build up my collection like what I have at the moment is my personal use stuff but I really want to get some more foundations and um, powders and different products and bronzers and whatever else in different tones so I can use it on my clients as well uh, just because they've got a broader range than a lot of other cosmetic companies and all of their products just are amazing like I can't fault them. Uh, number 20, lucky last question. What is your favorite skincare brand? My favorite skincare brand would have to be Clinique. I worked for Clinique probably for a year um, between 2013 and 2014. Um, and I just have an undying love for their products. Like everything is allergy tested, so it can pretty much match up to anyone like you have to be really sensitive to have a reaction to Clinique and I just found like when I had really bad skin like I had cystic acne their um, acne solutions products were the only ones that I could get to work like nothing else worked for my skin it was horrible but yeah, I would have to say Clinique just again because they've got a really broad range and there's something for everyone in that range. And they cater to all different skin types and all different people so it, it's just an awesome range. <laughs> anyway, so that is the end of my 20 questions. I've gone through them all today. I will, again, like I said, I'll list them below so that if you guys want to do your own 20 questions tag, you can or you can just fill out your answers to the questions in the comments and I'll reply to you. So don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. That would be awesome. Thank you so much. And I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys.